Yeah, sure thing. Playing Bella in the usually popular Twilight Saga has turned her into an international star. So please welcome Kristen Stewart, everybody. <laughs> Is that leather? It, yeah, it's yeah, fantastic. I think so. Maybe they're like fake leather. I don't know. Aren't they actually. a little too tight? No. <laughs> Those are perfectly are they too tight. tight? <laughs> you don't, you don't know. They're not too tight. I'm, I'm Atta confident. girl. <laughs> Listen, you came out and you were a presenter at the Oscars this year, huh? What yeah. was that like? It Something was new great. for you, right? First time? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I felt a little funny because uh, typically. You know, you've either had a movie there or, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it, so I felt very much like a little kid on a stage in front of all these. Um, well, I would think it would be intimidating anyway. There's, there has to be, uh, like, was there one movie star that you locked eyes with that you're a fan of that you thought, I cannot believe I'm standing here looking at this person? Yeah. I, I met Kate Winslet. Yeah. And um, I, we have the same hair and makeup team, and she came up to me, and I feel like she's very much... <clears throat> It, it was sort of like how I would be with somebody that was like, oh my gosh, because she was like, oh, hi. It was like, I'm sure, you know what I mean? I was just like, wow. And she's like, we have the same hair and makeup team. You look, we're looking good, huh? I was like, yeah, we look, I mean, you look, I don't, I don't know how I look, but you look great. <laughs> like, um, yeah, yeah. So you get a little tongue tied when you meet people like that, you know? I do. But, but I'm sure you came through like the star you are, all these awards you're winning. <laughs> The BAFTA Award. I mean, that's yeah. huge. BAFTA Award <laughs> is huge. It was. It was very. It was very cool. Especially everybody that was nominated in that category. They're my favorite actors right now. Like, so it was. It was. It was. It was cool to win. Did you prepare a speech? Were you? You know, like, did you have like something written down or something in your mind? Or did you just say, "I'm not going to prepare anything because I don't want to jinx myself." Um. I would have been so happy to not have to say anything. It's not, jinxing was not my concern. Like, I just didn't, um, I, I thought about it because I didn't want to do the thing where I go up and go, mm. right. um, So I said, I mean, like, I, so it, and the other thing is, it's a voted thing, and, and the Twilight fans are, you know, I, I trust them awesome. to go yeah. on and click mm -hmm. and click and click. And so, anyway, so, um, <laughs> so I, 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 I had prepared a little bit, but yeah. not, See, that's good. That's yeah. what you got to do when you go meet Lady Gaga. You just can't walk up <laughs> to Gaga and say, "Be bad, blah, 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 blah. You can't, you've got to be nice. You understand? What can Is that I what you say did again? No, so, <laughs> Wait, tell me one more time. What shouldn't I do? <laughs> <laughs> we're sending her on a mission to meet the Gaga, you know? The Gaga. Yeah. Have you met Lady Gaga yet? Oh, you know who Lady Gaga is, right? Yeah. Yeah, the big uh, <laughs> So Kelly's going to go spend a couple of days with her. <laughs> On the road. Regis has just declared this. Yeah. None of this is actually happening. Oh, that yeah. would be really fun. It would though. be fun. Yeah. It's, it, it would be a fantasy. So when's the next Twilight movie coming out? Uh, summer, maybe? June 30th. June, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, it's and amazing, right, when you see people, like, <clears throat> lining up, sleeping outside to wait for it to open. I know. It's got to make you feel so good. No, it's amazing. Yeah. I, it, it's funny because I'm getting a taste of it like on a different... It, the, the first time any of my movies have ever gotten attention, uh, attention it was the Twilight thing. And, mm -hmm. and now with The Runaways, it's sort of like people are really into that. So it's not... It's just such a weird feeling doing things that are gratifying and then other people like them. It's just... It's so, yeah. It's, sure, it's a great it's feeling, awesome. isn't yeah, it? It's good amazing. for you. I'm glad yeah. you're enjoying it. We got a new movie coming out called The Runaways, as she just said, playing Joan Jett. We'll be back with that in just a minute. Still ahead on live, actress Kirstie Alley. Kristen Stewart playing uh, Joan Jett. Uh, the likeness is striking. It really is. <laughs> yeah, it really is. And and the voice, I mean, you know, <clears throat> that was her singing, not Joan Jett. And, but there was Joan Jett, exec producing this movie, mm -hmm. looking right at you when you're doing it. Uh, what was that like? A lot of pressure? Yeah, mm -hmm. especially for the performances, because she's got such a distinct voice, and uh, she is on fire. Mm -hmm. Literally, like, she... 
she stares the audience down and like I, I've, never, I've really never seen anything like it um, and you don't know that you can do that until you do That's it right. for the first time like you said and um it's a lot of pressure. I would think yeah. that being a movie star is very cool but being a rock star has to be the coolest job ever <laughs> don't you think now that you've gotten to do both essentially yeah, definitely. If I if I had that drive, like she needs to make that sound, you know. I mean, I I, would, I could. It would never be fun for me to be a rock star because I'm not one. Do you know what I mean? But to mm -hmm. have that, to be that yeah. type of person, is well, she kind of revolutionized rock and roll. With I think it was one of the first, maybe the first all-girl band back in the '70s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. They were the first. Mm -hmm. uh, her and her friend, right, um, played by uh, Dakota Fanning. Yeah, yeah, Sheree Curry. Yeah, Sheree mm -hmm. Curry. Uh, and, and they really set the world on fire. How, how is Joan Jett now? Is she, does she still, is she still singing? Oh, yeah, she tours. Yeah, you, she, she tours? still plays, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first time I met her, I actually went up to Washington and, and saw a show of hers. And there she was. And there she was. 40 years later, still belting it out. Did she hand select mm -hmm. you to, to play her? No, no, no. Um, it was actually the first time that I met her, I had the job and mm -hmm. I hadn't done New Moon yet even, and uh, she was really nice because she was very open very instantly, and I felt like, why? Um, I just wasn't there yet, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was like, and so I felt like the first time I met her, it was gonna be like, you know, uh, she was, she was gonna fire me. <laughs> 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 um, and it worked out just great for both of you, yeah. yeah. Well, you have a clip now, and your character is approaching a music uh, producer outside a club in Hollywood, so we'll take a look at this, The Runaways. I'm Joan Jett. Um, I play. I play guitar, mm. electric guitar. Ooh. Joan Jett, that's a cool name. You guys got a demo? No. No, I don't. No guys. I, I want to start an all-go rock band. Really? Maybe I am the luckiest dog, after all. Hey, Sandy. Hold on, I'll be right back. Sandy West is a drummer. Joan Jett claims to be some sort of guitar goddess. Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the Runaways in the theaters on Friday. Kristen, thanks very much for coming. Great to have you here. Kirstie Alley, next. Tomorrow on Live.